Hi, welcome to the Success Portal with me, Dr. Franklin, Life Strategist. Today, I'll be talking to you about a subject called what you need to be in order to realize your success. Many people desire to be successful, but very few people realize that there needs to be a change which starts internally and also in the mind before you can be able to achieve your success. Something needs to change on your inside for you to realize your dream. Something needs to change in your mind for you to begin to move in the right direction that will take you to your desired destination. This particular change I'm talking about is not necessarily changing your, your name or changing who you are or changing what you like. But these are particular habits, ways of doing things that you need to change in order to be able to get to your goal. Some of these changes sometimes can be quite drastic that you feel uncomfortable. At the beginning, it may be difficult, but as you go on, they will end up becoming a delight and eventually you imbibe them and they become a part of you. My own example, when I desired to study and become a doctor, I needed to get information. I needed to get the appropriate knowledge. And as a result, I joined or I was enrolled into a learning institution which was accredited for running a medical degree. Learning medicine and all the information about medicine is only one part to becoming a doctor. There are certain things that you also have to learn the practical side of practicing as a doctor. But not only that, there are certain things that need to happen in your mind and in your heart that will position you to become a healthcare professional. For example, during the early years of my medical studies, we undergo a course that is called anatomy. There you get to examine people who have passed on. We call these in medical terms cadavers. So as a doctor, you need to get used to seeing dead people because at some point in time, you will be asked on to certify a person dead. So you need to begin to get used to seeing dead people and not being afraid uh, of seeing dead people. And that means it's going to change the way you view death, the way you view very ill people or people who are terminally ill. It changes your whole outlook of life. It changes the way you see things and you see things differently from a lay person. Another thing that I had to get used to as a medical professional is seeing blood or seeing people bleed and not being afraid of blood. Imagine being a doctor that's afraid of blood and people are bleeding and you're running away and people are relying on you to help them. So as a healthcare professional, you need to begin to be comfortable in an environment where people are maybe bleeding. I'm not saying you will be happy that they are bleeding, but you should be able to cope and not have the fear of blood. As a healthcare professional, you also are taught to be able to not be afraid of uh, people's body fluids. And you know that if you have to handle a patient's body fluids, you wear the appropriate protective attire so that you are not going to be infected through that patient's body fluids. But prior to becoming a healthcare professional, I could not stand the sight of blood. I could not stand uh, body fluids or any human excrement because it was so nauseating.
But something had to change inside of me in order to make me to be able to function as a healthcare professional. Likewise, if you desire to succeed or achieve your goal, something needs to change on the inside. There are certain habits that you need to begin to adopt and begin to grow and nurture for you to become successful. There are certain mindsets that you need to adopt for you in order to achieve your success. There are certain people that you need to begin to associate with in order to achieve your success. There are certain things that you need to cut away from your life or exempt yourself from in order to achieve your success. There are certain people you need to walk away from in order for you to begin to move towards your desired goal. So today I want you to think about the things that you need to change that are going to be instrumental in you getting to your place of success. Some of you may be saying, what must I change? And that is the important aspect of mentors, having a mentor who can guide you in terms of the things that you need to change or things that you need to improve on. Another aspect of understanding the things that you need to change is through reading books. When you read certain books that will challenge you, you'll realize there's the aspects or parts of your life that you need to change. Another aspect that may help you to change or another key that might help you to change is actually watching more of my videos right here. They will challenge you and you will actually get to know things that you never thought about or things probably you may have known or not paid much attention to and you will be challenged to change. Thank you so much for listening to me today. And this is Dr. Franklin, Life Strategist. Till next time, goodbye.